I've been waiting a very long time to finally be able to record this video and today I'm finally going to be able to show you how to import your issues in Jira and most importantly retain your parent-child relationship. Now I am going to show you two different ways to get this done. This is going to be a very, very awesome video. So make sure you stick around for the entire thing because we're going to show you the new and improved way. But luckily, this also now means that the old way of importing also works really, really well. So I'm glad that I'm finally able to record this because for years I've been struggling to get the entire hierarchy. And when at last I did the whole change from Epic Link and Parent Link and all of that fiasco, it just broke everything. But now finally, it all works and I can successfully import issues for the entire hierarchy. I'm very, very excited. You're definitely gonna wanna subscribe to the channel, drop a like, and if you need any help doing your imports, there's a link tree down in the description below. Let me help you out. I got 15 minutes, 30 minutes, one hour blocks of time, and if you need more, let's talk. All right, let's jump into Jira and let me show you how to get this import completed. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna set up a CSV file that has your data. And as you can see here, I have a file that has an issue ID. So every one of these rows is gonna have an ID. I then have the summary. So what is the name of that ticket? I have the issue type. And most importantly, I have a parent field here that is then mapped with a number. And that number corresponds to the appropriate parent on the left in that first column. And so what does this mean? This means that this initiative is issue number six, and that is going to be the parent of these two epics. And so these two epics under the parent will have that six, and that's how that corresponds. And now as we go lower, this epic, number four, is going to be the parent of both of these two items. We have a story and a task, and this epic, number five, is going to be the parent of this bug. And then to just put the final icing on the cake, we're gonna take these two subtasks, number seven and number eight, and we're going to assign it to story and task one and two respectively. So once you have your file set up, again, this is a very easy demo, but once you have it set up, make sure you save it as a CSV file, and now we can go back to Jira. So as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, there are two different ways to do this. So I'm gonna show you the new way, the new and improved way, and then I'm gonna go prove to you that it works for the old way as well. And so over here, once I go to the gear and I go to system, right, all I did was click on that gear in the top right corner, clicked on system, I'm gonna to go to external system import, and then I'm gonna select CSV. Now this is the new way, this is using the new importer, and um, this works really well. The only caveat here, folks, the only problem is that this method is going to force you to have to create a new project, which is okay in this case, right? I wanna create a new project, but normally we don't wanna create new projects, we wanna to import to existing projects, in which case you're gonna to wanna to follow the second half of this video, so make sure you watch the entire thing because in the second half, I'm gonna show you how to import into an existing project. So stick around. All right, so over here, you're gonna select your CSV file. We're gonna click on open. And then you can just check your settings, make sure that you have UTF-8, make sure you have a comma delimited file. We're not gonna use a configuration file in this case, so we can skip that. Click on next here. And then this is where you wanna create that project. Again, there is no way around this. This new and improved, quote unquote, improved uh, uh, import experience forces you to have to create a project. So I'm gonna create a software project of the type Scrum. This doesn't really matter. I'm gonna give it a name, demo import one. And then I'm gonna be careful here. I'm gonna select show more and I'm gonna switch it from team to company because we never make team managed projects here. And then just leave the key, although you can change it here. Click on next and now you have to do some mapping. And so this I like, this part of the UI I like. And so here we're gonna look up issue ID, which is right here. Everything else, summary goes to summary, issue type goes to issue type, parent goes to parent, all that looks good. We're gonna click on next. And then this part's new. So this part is going to allow us to map our issue types to the issue types in Jira. Now check this out. You wanna make sure that your subtask is correct. And in this particular case, it mapped me to a level zero subtask. I do not want that. My subtasks are supposed to be level negative one, and in which case, I actually misspelled the subtask name in my file, which is okay, this is a common mistake. So you're gonna wanna make sure you map it correctly here. That way it actually imports as a level negative one type. So this is very important that you take care of this. Click on next, and then click on next here. We're not doing any users. And then just verify this all looks good, it is and then click on import. 
So this is going to take a few minutes to import. And so I'm going to walk you through some expectations here. One, it's obviously creating a brand new project. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, I don't know. I, I personally don't like it. I prefer having this new experience, but being able to select your project. So at last, and if you're watching, would we'll love if this gets updated because I don't always want to create a brand new project. I want to import two existing projects. Nine times out of 10, I am importing into an existing project that I've already configured. I don't want to do it to a new one. Two, you want to be very careful that you did that mapping because if you skip it, then your subtasks or one of your other issue types, they're going to be mismatched. And so you want to do a little bit of homework. You want to do a little bit of due diligence and make sure that everything is being mapped correctly. But assuming you do your due diligence, assuming you cross your T's and dot your I's, then the import experience is going to work out pretty well for you. And we're going to get exactly what we want. Now, I will give you one last caveat that you need to be aware of is that once this import is completed, it's not going to be immediate. You are going to have to wait a few seconds. And depending on how many issues you imported, you might have to wait a few minutes. But in my particular case, I waited about like 30 seconds. And once I hit refresh in Jira, then everything looked okay. So let's wait and let's see how this goes. Okay, we are back. We are able to go into our project. I'm going to go into the list view and all of my issues are now in here. Now they do take a second, as I mentioned, so I'm going to give it a few seconds. This is not immediate. It takes a little bit of time. So don't freak out. Don't, don't get scared. You got to give it a little bit of time. You can click refresh and you're going to slowly start to see your issues show up. Now, enough seconds have passed and you're going to see that this is my initiative too. This is coming in from my Excel file. And this is a really good indicator right here. I can expand this. And when I expand it, here are my two epics. That's really good. As I expand my first epic, here are my two, my task and my story. That's really good. And as I expand this task, you're going to see I have the subtask and then I have the other subtask here. And then this one should have the bug. And so that's all really, really good. As you can see, the hierarchy is preserved. All the relationships are intact. And this is a really, really good import. So this, again, is how to do it using the new import process with the biggest problem. The biggest problem is you are forced to create a new project. So this is not good, in my opinion, because again, nine times out of 10, I don't want this to happen. So let me show you how to use the old experience to do basically the exact same thing because the process is very similar, but there are a couple of caveats that you need to know over there. So let's go back into Jira. And the only thing you need to know is that I'm going to click on the same stuff. I'm going to click on the gear, go to system. I'm going to go to external system import. And this time I'm going to click on switch to the old experience. Now, while that other import was happening just a few minutes ago, I went in and updated my CSV file and just updated the summary. So we're going to import basically the exact same issues, except they're going to have like a number three on it this time. So I'm going to pick my CSV file here. And I'm, as you can see, it's kind of hard to see. There's threes on it. I'm going to click open, skip everything else, click on next. Here, I am going to select my project Atlassian. Why can't you give me this on the other one? So I'm going to pick my demo import one. I'm going to put it in this exact same project that we did in the other one. I'm not doing users. I'm not doing dates. So I don't have to worry about that. Click on next. And then we need to do some mapping. This part is important because in the previous, in the new experience, all a lot of this was done for you. Here it's not. So you need to go look at this. So I got my issue type here. I got my parent here. Make sure you pick parent, not parent link. We want parent. Then we have our summary. And then we have our ID. So you're going to look up issue ID. Now I am going to do map my field value for the issue type. This is very important because as you remember from the new experience, the subtask, the way I typed that up, doesn't register with the actual subtask because I need the hyphen. And so I'm going to map it so I can hopefully, fingers crossed, be able to make that fix in the next screen. So I'm going to click on next and then we're going to do our mapping here. See how subtask doesn't like it? I'm going to connect it with my sub dash task. So that's good. And then everything else looks fine. So I'm going to begin my import. And so hopefully now that I did that mapping, this works correctly. I don't know if it's going to work. I haven't tested it. This is the first test. We're checking it live. So you're going to see my first reaction in real time. But assuming that I follow the steps correctly, this should work and that subtask should map to the right one. And so what I expect to see once this import finishes, is I'm going to go back to that demo project and I should see two initiatives and I should see the like test initiative two and then I'm going to see test initiative three and that third one I should see the same hierarchy so when I expand the trees on both I should see basically all those eight nine issues that I just imported twice 
and one using the new way and one using the old way. So this is a really cool new feature. I'm really excited because it finally works. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I've been trying to get hierarchies to work forever and a half. And I'm just so happy that Atlassian finally has this working. This, I think, is going to be a game changer. So make sure you're sharing this with everybody you know. I'm going to be posting this in the Atlassian community because, like I said, I have been waiting for this to finally work. I have been struggling forever to get this import with parent and child to work correctly. And I'm glad it just finally works. And so I'm very, very excited for this. And I'm sure you're going to be as excited as well. So... If you did get value out of this video, make sure you hit that like, help us get to 100,000 subscribers, smash, smash that subscribe button while you're there as well. All right, we're almost done with the import. It's still going, it's about 88% complete. In just a few seconds here, we're gonna be at 100% and we're gonna be able to go and confirm and double check our import. So almost there, just gotta wait, watch a little paint dry. And if you know any Jura jokes, this would be a great time to tell Jura jokes to people. Okay, we are at 100% there. Now we're gonna wait for those links. Those links are good. 100%. So now we're just waiting for the confirmation screen here. That's going to take another second. And there it is. It's loading. We're good. Eight imported. So now we get to go back to our project. I'm going to go back to the list view here. And again, I'm, I was expecting two initiatives. So this is really good. So I'll expand them both. Remember, the top one is using the new importer. And the bottom is using the old importer. And I'm going to expand these epics. And I expect to see them basically the same. I don't expect to see any differences here. They should be exactly the same with even those subtasks here. So this is really, really good. I was able to get all those issues with those hierarchies preserved using both the new and old importer. So this is a phenomenal job at Lastian. Thank you so much for finally, I'm telling you, this has been years that I've been wanting for this to work correctly. Bits and pieces have worked in the past, like story to epic have worked really well. But then the whole Epic link, parent link, all that kind of broke everything. Epic name, right? All of that stuff just broke everything. And so I'm just glad it all finally worked. So again, subscribe to the channel. Drop a like if you get value. And if you need help with any imports, let me know. I have all the information you need in the link tree in the description of this video. So click on that link tree. Let me help you out. I got 15 minutes, 30 minutes, one hour. And if you need more, let's chat. I got plenty of time to help you out. So that's it for this one. And I'll see you in the next one.